and welcome gamers every stripe this is Tamir's here or you can just call me Tom because that's my actual name the internet pseudonyms it's I don't know I I don't know how I'm feeling about it in the very long term but you know it's a thing going on anyway this is special counter force attack and that name is basically the whole reason why I even decided to look at this because what a name um I can't say immediately off I'm seeing on the two dudes here some very modern looking gear but we also have what look to be some Russian yaks from the 40s doing some combat at a very impossible angle because it's two pictures feathered together um it is uh running around and shooting people we're gonna see if it's at all worth it it was seven dollars on sale ten dollars normal price so let's hit that play button uh we can do assault or we can do stealth let's do assault that's the highlighted one and we can we can do the weapons okay all right i can't i can't I can, can I do upgrade? I don't think I can do upgrade. No, I can't do upgrade because I don't have any of the currency. There's two currencies. I don't know why there's two currencies currently, but there's two. How do I get out of that button? Um, I guess I can't change this, so let's just go. Uh, mission one. There's a lot of menu clicking. I thought this was going to be faster. All right. The music's changed. Press any key to skip. Well, we're not going to skip that. All right, look at us soldiering across this field of battle. Very intense. That's what we call some tone shift, and I'm being shot at. It's that guy over there. No, it's that guy right there. It's this guy over there. Who's shooting us? Wait a second. You look familiar. I believe... I believe there is another game that you can get on Steam that looks exactly like this game. Hang on a moment. Hold on. I need to see if that's true. There's a green dot. Let's not worry about the map or anybody. We're just going to run at the green dot. Get a victory. Okay. There's the cursor. Let's hit next. Hmm. Oh, now we're looking up in the air. Right oh. Uh, oh, no, there's our buddy. Do we have friendly fire? I take that as a yes. Okay. Well, I see there's red dots. That's probably the uh, people that want to shoot me with guns. Now that I've dealt with the traitor in my midst, I want to avoid them. Here are the enemy target. Shoot them before they do. Before they do what? Now, honestly, if this is anything like the game, that minimap doesn't make a goddamn bit of sense. I don't know what it's doing there. But yeah, I think... God, what was the name of that game? This is the same map we were on. This is the same map. Alright, it tried to encourage us to go shoot the enemies, but... I got a victory. Like the other game that I'm having trouble remembering the name of right now. I know Jim Sterling did a video on it. Uh, he he had a much more entertaining time with this bloke. Why'd you wink at me? Stop winking at me! Stop it! God, that's creepy. Uh, let's try go this way. All right. Did you slam mines in your aria? Aria. Okay, that's that's definitely what that said. That's uh. 
absolutely what that said. Now it's sounding like it's trying to give me an objective to go do a thing. But... I think I already know the secret of this game. So let's go... Try and engage in the secret of the game. Oh god! There, there, I shot a dude! I participated in the gameplay at once. My health bar hasn't gone down. And... I won. You need to upgrade your gun to play next mission. Well, if you give me my cursor, I can confirm that screen that keeps just pulsating towards me. And now, Command Sergeant! Well, let's go to home so I can upgrade my gun to proceed next mission. Okay, let's upgrade it. I don't know why I got these two currencies that I got, but there, there you go. Now, what do I need to do to upgrade it? What, 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 what should I get? That's interesting. So if I go to barrel, which right here says the 600 gold coins, and then I go to ammo, it gives me the option to use 1300 silver star thing of jiggers, but it's 600 gold coins. And if I go to muzzle, that's 400 gold coins. Now if I click back to ammo, it's still 1300 silver stars, but now it's 400 gold coins. I don't. We'll buy that one. I don't really know why I need one because. Did I? I beat this mode. So, this mode? Okay, that's a different gun. Why did you tell me you needed to upgrade it? What? Or did I. No. No, I only played through three. So here's the fourth one that I had to upgrade my gun to be able to do. We'll see if you make it. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, I can just scale this hill. I thought that would have been too steep for me. But apparently not. I don't understand why the minimap is working the way it is. The world seems slanted there. Why does the enemy indicator say T high? Okay, where's the level? The. I hit the victory bubble! See? It's a victory bubble. I got a victory. Okay! I think we may have just beat assault mode. Yes? Nope. There's another mission. Okay, well, I need to experiment with something, so you can tag along, or you can stay here, you can run over there. I really don't give two shits what you do. So, the enemies are over there, the mission indicator's over there, so I'm gonna go over here, because that seems like a logical step, and see what's going on. I will say last week, I wanted to do a video seeing the... The, these impression things that I've again just taken the idea from Jim Sterling because I thought it was a good idea that he was doing and then he wasn't doing them so I'm like well maybe there should be more people even though I know I'm not anywhere near the performer that he is so I just figured just kind of pick up the power vacuum so this type of thing can be provided but I was trying to do that for Apex Legends um, issue was I have about two hours of footage but they're wildly different in content, and uh, they wouldn't really be that entertaining to watch because, holy Jesus, fuck, I was garbage at that. I started to get a little bit better when I wasn't filming. I actually managed to kill two people after about four or five hours of gameplay. I was able to kill two people, but yeah, it's not wasn't all that impressive to watch. Um, I don't know what it is, but, like, when I go to other sites, people are talking about, oh, their weapons are so accurate. But, K-99 
comparing it to when I was playing Titanfall, which playing that game just made me remember, holy shit, I really liked Titanfall. That was a, I had very many fun hours on that one. And I don't usually get that many fun hours in the online multiplayer first person shooter games. But I was enjoying that. And just comparing those two games with how the weapons are accurate, that just I don't even know what to say it was feeling like. It just felt off. And it's not like I haven't played games with bullet drops, so I don't think that's that. I would like to uh, segment for a moment so we can appreciate the foliage that is conquering this bit of elevated roadway. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to run off the map. That's what I was trying to do. But now I'm here. Well, there's some craters over there. Do I have fall damage? Probably. It gave me a damage indicator, but... I mean, my health bar from what I got in the first mission is that guy's filled up in red, and he slowly gets depleted of red. And I'm assuming when he's out of... That thing just teleported. I'm assuming when he's out of red, then we die and lose the mission. But I haven't seen the red go down. There, it went down. From a random explosion that I'm pretty sure I have no control or influence over. You lose! Alright, we managed to find a secret to lose. But I'm not going to be thwarted by this. Let's go ahead and grab that victory bubble. Don't hold me back. Head on to the next enemy camp. Once there, search and target the hidden enemies. I'm not Here even... The enemy targets. Shoot them before they do. I'm not even gonna bother with that because... Here's the end of the level. <gasps> and shablagoo. I won! See, we're really just trying to take the pacifist approach. I think is what it is. We're now a platoon and commodore. Let's just go ahead and hit next. Break the rules! It said it must upgrade the gun. I don't believe it. I do not believe the game saying that my gun must be upgraded. We're just gonna run over there. This thing really does sit in the screen quite a bit. Rather obtrusive. Alrighty. Oh! The, the the follower dude managed to kill somebody. I saw them show up as a skull. Good job, buddy! You're doing your country proud. But I'm gonna go be the protagonist hero of this story and just win. Did I jump over that fence? There wasn't any reason to do that, but I did it. Alright, another victory under our belt. We didn't even upgrade the gun, because I just have that much of pro skills. See, Apex Legends wasn't that great at this. This, though, I'm. Uh, I mean, Chase I think I'm. From their spots I'm ready to go pro them. on this. Okay. Well, whoever lived here unlocked the secret of a floating building. That's good for them. Chase the agents before they run off. Well, we better do some chasing then. What do you bet the objective of the chase is? Oh man. Who knows what the objective is now? I can only keep guessing. I mean, it's been so varied. Ooh, I'm actually really stoked because I'm probably going to get some intense final like cutscene action. Maybe even a quick time event. I find these guys, and it's to the exact same spot the last three were. You need to upgrade your gun to play the next mission. I am going to continue to doubt. We're going to do one more of these, and we're going to see what stealth has to offer. Alright. Reach the camp without being detected by the enemy. Don't be detected by the enemy. Why do I feel like it doesn't matter? Well, they're not hiding very well. I can see them on my mini-map. There's a fence. A fence is thwarting my pro strats. I got hit by a mine. That doesn't count. Everybody gets one mulligan. Every mange 
every main streamer that streams all those games, it's always a mulligan. It's the mulligan allowance. It's, it's a law of, of making videos. Just trust me on this. I, I know what I'm talking about. Being detected by the enemy. Definitely not just bullshitting. Enemies. Trying to add some Enemies kind of amusement to this not sensory. Hiding and waiting to attack you. Yes, they're hiding. If only I knew where they were. <gasps> then perhaps I could deal with them. Alright. We did that without being detected. I can tell because it said victory. Alright. Uh, enough of these assaults. I think we've pretty much mastered those. Uh, no, none can stay our wrath. Everybody just... As soon as they hit the field, they're just dead. There's just no challenge. And uh, let's yeah, let's go ahead and do some upgrades. I can I can't get an infrared. I can't get a sight. Uh, I can I can get a barrel. Let's get a barrel. And uh, how about how about a, a muzzle? There we go. Uh, it doesn't look any different, but we did that start mission. Mission one. That's always the one that you start with. Is the first mission. Mission the first. You know I'm doing this when I have my Gene Stealer cultists here. I just realized we don't look like the people that end this. Maybe it'll be different because we're in stealth mode. But um, in saying all this, and I still have a wolf quad, I've got all the parts clipped out to build the quad itself. I still need to build the dude, and I need to decide what to put on it. Um, this is new Gene Stealer. God. Damn, that thing is in the way. This is new Gene Stealer cults, but uh, yeah, I, I I'm liking the idea of doing Rusted Claw, which the uh, the bikers don't suffer any penalties for moving and shooting a heavy weapon. So there's a part of me that Either wants there, to go with mining area. laser on the wolf quads, with <gasps> probably a long-term goal of getting a full unit of 15. And have two mining laser wolf quads, and then still have an uh, Adelan incinerator on one of them. Just because 12 inch heavy flamer, that's always good. I was able to still jump to the tank. Okay, there's a little bit more difficulty here. Probably I have to focus. I'm going to be distracted by my Gene Stealer cults. Which, I tell you what, that's uh, definitely got a distraction there. I. Already I accidentally shot off a shot, now they know where I am, so I gotta act fast. Otherwise, we're... we're gonna be doomed, because they... they have found my position. Alright, we just need to go super stealth. And... there we go. We're gonna run wide... in that mine. There's no way, as far as I can tell, to know where the mines are, they just kinda happen. All right, we got we got a wall up here of shipping containers. They're gonna try and stop us, and they're gonna fail. Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Got to be super stealthy and super stealth. Got him like a freaking Sam Fisher up in here. All right, let's do another stealth thing. I gotta be honest, I'm really glad that uh, the Gene the Colts got a new release, because those models they made, they just look gorgeous. I mean, that's kind of the whole reason why I like the Gene to the Colts, is there's just so much character to those models. I love the look of them. Why are we doing... Stop reloading! What the hell? Okay, he flew. Good for him. I'm glad he figured out how to do that. Alright, so we pretended to do gameplay by shooting at these guys because I wanted to talk about Gene Stealer Colts. It's Gene Stealer Colts. It's awesome. Uh, supposedly I could pick this up. I don't... Alright, I use the inner key. I had grenades? I have grenades. Yeah. Alright. Well, the grenade worked. There we go. Blow up the car. Good job. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just excited. Excited for the release. I'm not excited for... There's a lot of big uh, tournament players that want to start playing Gene Stealer Colts, because... 
Oh, I'm not looking forward to all the lists they're gonna do, and then everything's gonna be all abusive, and it's all gonna be every time I show up, and like, oh, you're just playing this with this build, and like, no. I'm not doing that at all, because I bought the stuff that I thought looked cool and be fun to play, because I suffered through playing it in, on Index, and like all the bandwagon jumpers. I went through the dark ages of the Gene Stealer cult, but it was basically impossible to win anything. So I would like to deserve some time to just have fun with it, rather than every time I try to pull out my Eldar, which, again, still ain't built to the cheesy route. I'm gonna take my question out on this asshole. It's still not built to the stupid way, but you still basically can't bring it to the shop because everybody's just assuming you're gonna build it the stupid way, and every time they see it, like, oh god, I don't want to play any fucking Eldar. And it's the like, are I'm not even trying to play that! God, that was a... I, I apologize for that rant. Kind of lost myself there a little bit. I mean, not everybody in our local crowd's that bad. If they were even watching, they know who they are. I've made my, my thoughts known to them. About who I think is a decent person doesn't ruin the fun for everybody, and uh, the people that I do think are not a decent person ruin the fun for everybody. Got him. So yeah, I, I apologize for that. I hit the thing. I blew myself up. Why am I bothering to try and do combat with these guys? It's wasted effort. It's so much easier since this is the stealth mission. You can tell by the night sky box, even though it's bright as goddamn day. Oh, hey, look, there's the map that we were going through previously. So, let's, uh. How about we stealth it? That sounds like a plan. Well, I died because there is a mine that you can't have any way of knowing that it's there. I'm gonna beat this mission, goddammit. I'm setting myself a goal, and I'm not going to be deterred. Alright. The drug dealers are getting together. Get and put a stop to it. I'm gonna be very excited for the blip marker deployment that the cults get, though. It's going to be... It's going to be oodles of fun. I don't care what any of these competitive ITC players are saying that it's not actually going to do a whole lot. They can just suck it. It's going to be fun. That's the point of doing this. I got a victory! Suck it! Special force op game thing. Special counter force attack. That was it. What is the name of the game that this thing basically hits? Okay, it was just special counter force attack. It's just the same thing. This is just Jim's video playing. I hope Jim can uh, see mercy upon me of having his voice be on my channel there at least. I'm going to stop it just to not insult him by me trying to drag him through the mud of putting it there. But I guess it was just special counter force attack. I don't know. I guess this was an early access title. I found his video. The screen... The splash screen's different. It looks like it's from... I kind of want to say that looks like it's from Metro. That's what it looks like to me. But yeah, that... Okay, it was the exact same game. Only in his, the grenades didn't work. Grenades worked here, so I guess they made improvement. Alright. I could have sworn it was a game of a different name. No, I ever remember what it was. And there's a Steam review for this. Let's go to their store page. Stop it with their ad. Let's see here. Second Warfare! That was the game! It's the same map as Second Warfare! There we go! That's, uh... Intelligence. The Steam user intelligence. They they mentioned that in the con and the cons for this game. Same map from that god awful game, Second Warfare. Quote directly from Intelligence, that Steam user. There we go. We did some detectivating. We figured it out. You didn't get to see any of it though, because I didn't have my record set up to do uh full screen just 
whatever my monitor is showing record. So that's awkward. 